Today, I'm going to teach you how to make a DIY glove box. So first off, what is a glove box? A glove box is a piece of safety equipment that lets you perform work on an object while keeping it in isolation. It's most commonly used to protect operators working with hazardous materials, but it can also be used to protect sensitive materials from the outside atmosphere. There are a lot of potential uses for a glove box, and different applications require different degrees of isolation. So I'm going to demonstrate a variety of features and how to implement them, and you can choose which features you want to use in your glove box. The most basic kind of glove box is just a clear container with holes on the side that you can reach through with gloved hands. This design is suitable for containing large particles that quickly settle to the bottom of the box, such as wood chips or metal shavings. To make this, you just need a pair of gloves and a clear plastic storage bin. Start by deciding where the arm ports will be located. You want them to be in a comfortable working position. Then trace a 4 inch diameter circle for each arm port and cut them out with either a knife or rotary tool. If you want to keep fine particles or chemical fumes contained, then you need to seal the openings of the glove box. The first step in doing this is to seal the arm ports. To make the arm ports, you'll need two pieces of 4 inch diameter PVC pipe that are each 2 to 3 inches long. To seal the edges of the pipe, you'll need a tube of sealant. For the gloves, I recommend using elbow length waterproof gloves. And to attach the gloves to the PVC pipe, you can use hose clamps, zip ties, or even strong rubber bands. Begin by inserting the PVC pipe into the cut holes. Position the pipe so that there's about a half inch of pipe sticking out of the side of the box. Apply the sealant around the edges of the pipe on both sides and let them dry overnight. Then fit the gloves over the PVC pipe on the inside of the box. Lastly, secure the gloves to the PVC pipe. To make a better seal at the base of the glove box, you can add foam between the sides of the tub and the lid. The easiest way to do this is to apply weather stripping all along the lip of the tub. It's possible that the foam will be too thick for the lid to snap on. If this is the case, you can get an extra tight seal by either clamping the lid on or by placing a heavy weight on top of the box. Another way to ensure that no gases escape is to add a ventilation fan and air hose to blow the fumes outside. The fan draws air out of the box so that the pressure inside is slightly lower than the pressure outside. This means that if there are any gaps, air flows into the box and not out. To add this feature, you'll need an air hose and some kind of a fan. For a small pressure difference, you can use a small fan such as a computer cooling fan. Or for a greater pressure difference, you could hook up your vacuum or shop vac. Start by cutting a hole in the back side of the glove box that's the same size as the air hose. Then insert the air hose through the hole. If you want the air hose to be removable, you can help seal the edges with weather stripping. Otherwise, just use your tube of sealant. If you want to be able to use corded power tools in the glove box, then you'll need a hole for the power cord. You can either use the air hose hole, or you can drill a new one. After feeding the power cord through the hole, you can cover up the opening around the cord with either foam or tape to help maintain the seal. Now you have a simple DIY glove box for your next messy, smelly, or sensitive project. Try it out and have fun. And check back next week for more DIY hacks and how-tos.